Hey, what's going on, Aki Hunters? And today we're in Chiba, in Kisarazu Station. Uh, we're starting here today. We're gonna go see some houses around here. But we're doing it for Darren from California, Torrance, California. Yes. And Darren, you flew in last week. Yes, August 1st. August 1st. Yeah, we're gonna go see some houses around here. I'm excited. Me too. What kind of house are you looking for? in Chiba. Uh, a renovated house that my wife and I don't have to do too much. Maybe add a bathroom, maybe update the kitchen. Yeah. And if it needs air conditioning, put air conditioning in. But yeah, we're just looking for something that's affordable for us. Everything's affordable here right now. So yeah. for us, it's, yeah. we wouldn't be looking if it wasn't, we couldn't just outright buy it. Right. So that's what we're here for. That's nice. what I'm here for. She awesome. sent me here. <laughs> you spent some time in Chiba already, but what do you think about you know, this particular part of Chiba. It's called Uchibo, which is like inside of uh, Boso Hanto, so mm. Boso Peninsula, right? Okay. So it's um, closer to the bay, closer to like Tokyo Bay, closer to Kanagawa. I drove from Yokohama, so it was pretty accessible. You came from closer to Tokyo. Now, what do you think about this area? I saw Ijihara the other day. I w went there and walked around, mm -hmm. but I haven't really seen Kisarazu yet. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how, what it looks like in here. I mean, I haven't been here before, so yeah. it's the first time. So I'm excited. Well, let's see what we can find today. All right. This is the first house that we're, we're gonna look at. Apparently the seller has already accepted an offer. So it's gonna be difficult to probably negotiate, but let's still take a look. Okay, it's a really good looking house. Japanese style, kawara, roof. And apparently the inside is renovated. So let's go take a look. What do you think there? That's steep. <laughs> the stairs? Yeah. Yeah? It looks pretty spacious and nice from what I can tell though. 5DK. Okay, so this tatami room. Fresh tatami mats. New shoji, so it's renovated. Another room here. Toilet. Here is a new kitchen, very nice. And renovated bathroom. And another tatami room, there is a step, elevated step. Nice backyard. Some space back here as well. Very nice actually. Okay, so this is the second floor. Another Japanese style room. Fresh tatami renovated nice finish and here's the western style room very well done and then this view this one went under contract at 11.8 million i think or 12 million 5dk fully renovated i think it's a fantastic view so what did you think of that first house it was big Stairs are super steep, not used to that. Yeah. Um, but those are, I'm sure that's the type of houses that are the way are they are in Japan, right? Yeah, older older homes, yeah. It's not uncommon. Even newer ones, especially if the space is limited, oftentimes the, the stairs are kind of steep. It was nice. I mean, what, what was done to it, but I didn't, you know, the, again, that's a, that was the first one that I've been in, so I don't right. really uh, have anything to compare it to. Yeah. So we're gonna go see a few more. This one looks nice on paper. I think the pictures look pretty good as well. So 15 million, still in within Kisarazu city. Renovation is in progress, it says. That's interesting. <laughs> They're trying to sell like mid renovation. I think that's someone that says it's it'll be done in September, right? Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. So another couple months. She wanted me to look at that one. So. After that, we're gonna go to your favorite one, just from looking at online. It looks really good uh, from pictures and you know, price-wise too, I think it's quite reasonable. But it's a little bit inland from Kisarazu, like where we are. So I think the location-wise, depending on how you look at it, it's a little bit farther away from where the action is in Kisarazu, but apparently it's 12 minutes from the nearest station, so. Walking? Walking, yeah, walking. It's 12 minutes from a station. There's right. There's like you can just take a state. Yeah. There's infrastructure around all exactly. the stations, right? Exactly. Yeah. So especially if you don't have a car, because most people in Chiba, like the local people, 
they have a car. You know, people here have a car lifestyle. Mm. Yeah, her cousin was selling a CS2 car. Yeah, so most houses come with a car parking car park or two. Mm. It's quite common. Yeah, if you're dependent on public transportation, yeah, you definitely want to be semi closer to the station. Yeah. yeah, see, and it's, you know, we're buying this house. We're hoping that our friends come and use it too. Mm-hmm. When we're not here, they, yeah. they could just come and stay and yeah. come to Japan whenever they want, have a place to stay and then mm-hmm. travel around too, just like we want to do. Yeah. It's not just for us, it's for our friends and people that we, right. our family. Like my, my kids want to come too. Yeah. And How old are your kids? 24, 25, and then my youngest is just turned 21. Okay. Can you share your story, your background with uh, with the audience? Where are you from, Torrance, but you well, live in Vegas too. Yeah. So tell, tell us a little bit about that. Originally, I'm from uh, California. I grew yeah. up and uh, all my family and friends live in California. Mm-hmm. And so does my wife. My wife's from Anaheim by Disneyland. Right the Buddhist church in uh, Orange County. She lived right, the street right behind it. Right. Basically, we moved to Vegas because that's where, when I got my big boy job, Mm -hmm. my forever job, that's where I got my job. It was hard to get a job as a fireman at that time. Right. So, moved to Vegas, worked there for 27 years, retired, and then my wife, she just went to the the public employee's retirement Mm -hmm. place to find out about her retirement today. Yeah. So she's going to finish out one more year and then hopefully she retires and then we'll be freed up to do a come and visit whenever we want. Yeah. We really like Japan because it's just interesting, you know, the things that you could do here, the things that you can see. It's always super clean and people are always super nice trying to help. And my wife, she actually teaches uh, Japanese in middle school so right she she's i wouldn't say fluent but she can you know do pretty well here speaking japanese that's great yeah getting around so how's your japanese it's it's terrible (laughs) so this year her japanese one class yeah i asked her i go can you print out all the things for your japanese one class and i'll do it with your kids yeah at home as you go along and try to learn as much as i can yeah so she did, and when I go home, I'm gonna start doing that. That's awesome. But I, yeah, I want to learn Japanese. I mean, it's it's very frustrating to me to not be able to communicate with people, mm-hmm. and uh, I I want to do better. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, the more time you spend here, I think the best way to learn is just to uh, immerse yourself in the in the culture, and just kind of force yourself to speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of the opposite like I grew up here and I moved to the US when I was 15 and I didn't speak much English so I forced myself I wanted to hang out with Japanese other Japanese students Mm. which I did for the first nine months and I was like man I'm not learning English this is not good so I transferred to a more local school where I couldn't speak Japanese there there was no one that spoke Japanese and yeah I forced myself to really speaking English every single day. That so, really so we're in the United crazy. States at 15 did you move to? San Diego. You live California. in San Diego? Yeah. I went to UC San Diego. No I way. A, I have a degree from UC what? San Diego. Okay, nice. A I bachelor's to, degree. Yeah, I went to La Jolla Country Day. So, oh, you yeah, went to... The, yeah. Oh, there's probably a lot of famous people there. Wasn't <laughs> Kellen Winslow's son there? Yeah, it was a small school, but I really enjoyed it. You know, I was one of like two or three international students. Like, I... Only one from Japan, and then the other two were like from France and South America. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, I'm very grateful that you know they were very kind and many, most of them, kind and nice to me at the time, and learned a lot about American culture, high school culture, and all that stuff. And I went to Pepperdine. So, oh, you went to yeah, Pepperdine? I stayed in South, Southern California. Uh, my friend's son's uh, currently attending Pepperdine. Okay, nice. Wave, the waves. The waves, exactly. I loved it, you know. People either love it or hate it because it's kind of isolated, you know. You don't get the typical LA college lifestyle. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's just anywhere from the from campus, you can see the Pacific Ocean, right? Oh, yeah. So it was, uh, you know, at times hard to focus on studies. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's go to the beach. 
every day. Oh, um, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like my first few years, I really picked up English. So I just, I think, you know, you coming here, especially like in Chiba, like this area, I don't think there are that many people that are fluent yeah. in English. So yeah, I think you're going to pick up Japanese pretty quickly. I hope so. Yeah. So what do you hope to achieve once you get a house here? What's your vision? My vision is just having a nice, decent place for us to come to and take a break from the traveling mm -hmm. around the country and then our friends using the place and our family yeah the same way you know yeah. if they want to come and hang out for a couple of weeks at yeah. the house they can do that yeah i mean that's it that's all we're not really we're not looking to buy a house to make money it's, right that's not what yeah it's about it's more about life like an investment for your personal fulfillment yes yeah that's all we're looking yeah. looking for that's wonderful I mean, depending on how you look at it, right? Even, even if you're buying a vacation home, you know, yen just kind of got pretty strong in the past two weeks. Like it went from like 157 to, I think it's like 150, uh, 147 now. Mm -hmm. But it went down to like 144, or 143 at one point, you know, a few days ago. But I don't know how it's gonna be in the near near future. Maybe like if it goes back to like one. 120 per one usd mm -hmm. that alone like you're kind of getting a forced depreciation right mm -hmm. yeah so like if you bought a house today like you know without doing anything like by the exchange rate you have built that much equity from the exchange rate so you know there's one way to look at it but you know there are some people who are speculating that yen's gonna go to, like the other direction like you know 200 yen per one dollar but Really? You know, yeah, I don't know. Like you know, with the interest rates going up and you know U.S. interest rates, I think they're coming about to come down with the election and whatnot. Yeah, I think it's gonna swing the other way, meaning the yen will probably continue to be stronger. It only makes sense, right? Like if the if the interest rates go up, that means the yen is more valuable. It's harder to borrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then U.S. dollar, if it's easier to borrow the value decreases so that it's like the pendulum swings the other way so yeah that's all cyclical man. yeah yeah i mean it's just the timing and you shouldn't really time that because it's really hard to do especially if you're trying to buy the right property for you you should buy when you are ready and when you want to buy not because of the exchange rate yeah, that's awesome. I uh, really hope we can find what you're looking for. Thank you for helping. Of course. I mean, that's what we do. It's my pleasure. Okay, so we're at the second house of the day. And this is the house we're looking at. It comes with a garden, but this one is actually going through a renovation. So it comes with renovation with the price. Here, they're going to take out this vegetation, put a cover on it, and then put rocks so that the owner won't have to take care of the garden okay so this is the second house that we're looking at so this property is going through renovation yes yeah so it's still pre-renovation but sounds like it's going to go through a pretty major renovation and i'm very curious what it's going to look like but so far what do you think you can walk through it it seems like it's pretty the layout of, it's nice you know i feel more comfortable with this house than, than the, the, other the house. last one what do you think about the the steepness of the stairs? That's just the way it is. I mean, yeah. That's how it is in Japan. I don't, we'll probably be sleeping down here. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So this one has toilet. Hi. They're going to redo all that, right? Yeah. So kitchen's gonna, they're gonna renovate the kitchen mm -hmm. as well, obviously. And then they said they're gonna knock down this wall. Open it right up. Right here, yeah, open it up. And then put it together with the living room. And then he was saying that this part right here, they expanded it mm -hmm. from the, the initial layout, but it wasn't Code. registered yeah so they're gonna keep this part but they're gonna knock this part out so you're not gonna have this that space this room right yeah this space so you're gonna have more space in the yard for the garden in the yard yeah and then here's the tatami room you're a potential bedroom right <laughs> yeah 
All right, let's go take a look at the second floor. Oh, nice breeze is coming in. Looks like it's gonna rain outside. Yeah, so this one definitely needs some work. Ah, oh, this is kind of nice. You know, it's been so hot, yeah. but this breeze. So this is the view that you get of Kisarazu. And then there is, uh, ooh, another room. Thought it was gonna be a toilet. I guess this is another toilet, second toilet. Definitely ticks the box. And then here's the final room. Whoa, there's no balcony for this one. Did you see this? Yeah, it's like an <laughs> awning, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen this before. You can just like walk on the roof, part of the roof. That's the part that they're taking out, right? Yeah, no, they, they, they're gonna redo all this. It looks like there's an English uh, school, huh? school right there. So this one, let's take a look. So this one is, uh, was built in Showa 51. So 19, what is that? 76, I wanna say. 91 square meters of living space. So it's quite spacious actually. And they're going through renovation. The renovation is gonna be done October. in October. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Like they're, they get to kind of show you the before, but they're taking care of the renovation. And then the cost, including the renovation, asking price is uh, 15 million. So 14.99 for LDK. And the closest station, he said it's two, about two kilometers. So that's probably about less than 30 minute walk, 25 minutes. I live more than two kilometers from the nearest station and my house. I, I mean, I bike and sometimes I walk, you know, if the weather is not this hot, but. So it's like 102,000? Right now, yeah, yeah. 102,000, maybe within your budget. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be, uh, you know, fee closing fees and all that stuff. So yeah. you might have to do a little bit of negotiation. Hopefully the yen gets weaker when you pay so that <laughs> you can actually get it for hundred grand, but we'll see. But so far, what do you think? I'd like to see the after. Yeah. Cause I mean, you have to use your imagination a lot. Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, they have a, a similar property that just went through the renovation. So let's go take a look at it. Yeah. So there, and this one is just up the street, similar house, but it's been renovated. So we get to see what the final product of the last house might look like. Yeah. What do you think about the colors? It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this is going to be like the final finish. Okay, we got some hail coming in. Okay, hey, come in. Hope our car's okay. <laughs> it's hail. Nice. Okay. Neighbor's yard. Yeah, renovated bathroom. First bedroom. So basically the toilet, bathroom, kitchen will be the same model. Two rooms upstairs. It's really hot. Second bedroom. And another bedroom. This is a Western style, right? Similar view. So Darren, this one, he said, is uh, more expensive. Is it? Yeah, so this one is almost 20 million. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah. that one is, he was saying, really good deal. Because yeah. they were able to get that much cheaper. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's 5 million less than this. Okay. But it's going to look very similar, basically. Yeah, this is pretty much what we would want. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. My yeah. Wi my wife would be okay for that. Yeah. So maybe we'll buy the other one. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. We're going to look at that other one still, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, this is uh, the next place that we're walking through. We just drove for about 20 minutes. In the mountain area, this area is a lot more rural. Very opened up, nice kitchen. And here's the tatami room. First room, 
Nice. So this probably was a Japanese coming room. And they kept the sliding doors here. Got three rooms up here. This one is a tinier room. And then the third room. I guess there was no, just one toilet downstairs. So this one is a uh, 13.99 million, so 14 million. 12 minutes from the station, but it's a little bit far from, you know, where we were in Kisarazu. So the agent was saying this area is quite rural. This was built in 1982, four LDK, 80 square meters, fully renovated. It looks pretty good. Comes with two parking spots. Hmm. I wonder what Darren thinks about this. Oh, there he is. What do you think about this one? It's nice. Only one bathroom though. Toilet. I just realized. Downstairs? So you would, yeah, there. you would have to add. I thought there would be a bathroom like here, but, or I mean toilet. The septic thing kind of, I yeah. don't like being on the septic. Yeah, so septic tank. That's what this house has. And it's not that, you know, it won't really affect how you, you know, everyday living, but yeah, it is different from uh, city storage. Or it gets clogged up. Yeah, so I mean the price isn't that much difference. Different from the last one, it's 14 million still. He did say, the agent said, it is pretty close to A station, but this line is like, like a super local line. Mm. So there's only like one every hour or something. Oh. So he was saying like the one we saw earlier, it's probably like location wise, Better? Much more convenient. Yeah, okay. better. Yeah, it's a nice house though. I have to consult the boss. The boss. See what she says. <laughs> All right. So Darren, where are we now? We're at the realtor's office. So what are we doing here? We're here filling out paperwork in case my wife says we can buy a place. All right. So we're going to make an offer. Yeah. As hopefully. long as your wife says yes. it's a green light. Okay. That's awesome. So that happened pretty quickly. So we saw a few properties today. Which one are you planning to make an offer? The one that's under renovation, but it isn't, hasn't begun yet. Yeah, no, that was, I think that's going to be a really cool project. I'm very excited to see what it's going to turn out. And from yeah. the other two projects that we saw, it seems like it's going to be really nice. Yeah, I mean, that was a couple hours ago and now we're here filling out an offer form. And then as soon as your wife says it's okay, We'll submit it so that you're going to be the first one. Yeah, the reason why we want to do this is that the agent said there are a few other viewings scheduled for the next couple of days. So Japan is going through Obon next week. So I think there's a lot of activities happening. Hopefully Darren will be the first offer. Submit it, bring it to contract day as soon as the offer gets accepted. Put in an earnest money, sign contracts, and then that's going to be the done deal. Unless the seller pulls out or you pull out before the closing, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We don't have any reason to pull out. <laughs> okay, so let's go into the office, real estate's uh, agent's office and fill out some forms. All right. Shall we? Okay. We just went to the agent's office, mm. fill out a form, an intent to make an offer. How yes. do you feel? Feel oh, good. Hopefully uh, my wife says okay and we'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah. Once you get the green light from your from your wife, it's it's a go time, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you asked me earlier how, how I've been married for so long. I guess that's why, why, because I don't just make those kind of decisions without, yeah, no. without her. No, that's great. Yeah. I mean, just speaking to your wife briefly over the phone and Zoom and, and also like chatting. I feel like, you know, she's probably just going to trust your gut, I hope. Yeah, um, that's what she said. You know, once we get the green light, yeah, we'll make an offer and we'll go from there. Lock it in. Lock it in. Do we want to get to the contract day as quickly as possible since there are other people interested in that property? So what did you end up uh, putting on the offer sheet? How much are you going to offer? It was 15 million. 15 million. Okay, so asking. Yeah, we thought about asking for a little discount and we talked to the agent and the agent even talked to the seller. And based on the context, there is one prospect potentially making an offer. They went to see the property already. They're trying to get a loan. And once the loan goes through, they probably make an offer. And then there are four viewings scheduled for tomorrow and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I think Sunday too, so, so in the next three days, mm -hmm. which tells me that it's in high demand, right? So you don't want to risk having other people make a bigger offer, right? Yes. So yeah, I think that's a good call asking price. I think it's a, I mean, it's a, 
great deal on its own. 50 million for a renovated house at that size and car park and you know, location. garden, location. Yeah, really hope you get it. I hope so too. Yeah, and then the next time you come back, it's gonna be renovated and hopefully we can do another episode. A sequel. That would yeah, be awesome. that'd be really cool. When are you planning to come back to Japan? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any plans. This is my second time here this year. Yeah. Well, you might have to come back. You might want to come back sooner than later, especially well, if this one closes. She's coming in March with her students. Oh, is she? Okay. They're doing an exchange. Yeah. So she'll be here, but she won't. She can't like go see the house. I don't think. Yeah. She's got plans. You know, things she has to do every right. day. Right. I mean. She's a school teacher, so she can't take time off on her own. So it has to be like doing a break, right? I guess. But you're retired. You can come. I can yeah. come, yes. Yeah. I mean, you should come when it's cooler. Like, yes. come in November or something. It's going to be way nicer. <laughs> you know, November, December. It'll be done in November, too. Yeah, yeah it'll be done. Yeah, probably November. It's going to probably be the best, and you get to experience the best of Japan the fall. So That'd be three times in one year. That's... Hey, Crazy. well, when you have a house in Japan, you know, you have a one big reason to come. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll work out and uh, audience will keep you posted on how Darren's deal will go. Thanks for today, Darren. Thank really you. appreciate you, you know, sharing your journey with us today and uh, very excited for you. Thanks for your uh, guidance and words of uh, wisdom. Obviously, you need someone you can uh, trust when coming to a foreign country like this. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what we do. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one too. So watch this next and I will see you in the next one. Thank you again, Darren. All right. Thank you.